today. Today we're checking out quite a few trails out in the South Hills once again. And we're at the old shooting range trailhead. To get here, you just come up Davis Street, which eventually turns into Davis Gulch, and it turns into a dirt road. You just come up this road and you run into this huge parking lot. You can't miss it. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Ford Trail and then we'll have to get on Davis Gulch Road a little bit. And then we're gonna connect up to Roger Fuchs Trail. And then we'll connect up to Rent Money Trail. And then we'll connect up to Pinshot Trail. And then we'll get on TR Trail, which will come back in, hopefully on this trail right here. Trailhead here, you've got maps once again, which will give you directions. We're, we're way down in here. Like I mentioned, this is the Mount Helena hiking area. And over in here is the Joaquini Sky Trail we did. Let's giddy up. Ford Trail that we're on right now, it was previously owned by Don and Lois DeFord, as this was their land. Don passed away some time ago. Lois passed away recently in 2019, and it was specified that she would hike this trail all the time. Just love going up and down it. A little bit rocky, not bad. It's all pretty much flat. It's a hiking trail pretty much for anyone. Now, it runs along Davis Gulch Drive. That's right up here. And what I've seen so far, a lot of small wildlife, a lot of chipmunks and squirrels, and birds, nice little hike. Let's giddy up. So this is the end of the DeFord Trail. It doesn't go on very far and it's all flat. So pretty much a hike for anyone to take. Now if you wanted to extend it a little bit further, you could go up Upper Davis Gulch Bike Skills Course Trail right here. But watch out for bikes, of course. And that would just loop you back around. Now, if you wanted to even make it further, we started off at the old shooting range trailhead. The Ford Trail starts off even further back, but then it jumps across the road. It, it, it does go further and it's all flat if you wanted to take that. When you get to this point here, Davis Gulch Road ends and it becomes Tucker Gulch Road. And then this road coming up here is Dry Gulch. Now this is the road we want to take. We want to go up Dry Gulch Road until we get to Roger Fuchs Trail. Let's giddy up. This is the start of the Roger Fuchs Trail. Now coming up Dry Gulch, it was about 25 degree angle coming up the backcountry road. And it wasn't bad and it was short. So let's giddy up.
So as you can see, not long ago in this area, a fire came through and I'd be worried about mudslides as steep as these hills are. However, there's so many rocks in here, I expect that's not be to be a real concern. Almost smell it to where it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. And it did scorch some trees. And if you look on the other side of Dry Gulch Road, nothing's burnt over here. So it didn't jump the road. Let's giddy up. Now the Roger Fuchs trail that we're on right now, it was named after Roger Fuchs. He was a avid bicyclist in the South Hills. He died in 1996 at the age of 29. He does love bicycling these South Hills, so they named this trail after him. He uh, graduated from Opine, Montana in 1985. Little town of 85 people of Opine, Montana. To give a shout out to them. So let's giddy up. So this is as far as we're going to go on the Roger Fuchs Trail. It does continue on a little bit further this way until it connects up to Rodney Ridge Trail. We're going to make a little bit more out of this hike and we're going to go up uh, Rent Money Trail going this way. So as you can see, we're going to be running into more scorched earth. Let's giddy up. Now the Roger Fuchs Trail, that was a nice trail. It was nice and windy, and it had about a uh, 20 degree angle at times, maybe up to 40 degrees, but most of it was just a slight increase. Very nice trail. Would have been perfect if it had not been for the landscape here being burnt. So far on Rent Money Trail, it's about the same turning into maybe about a 10% incline so far. Let's giddy up. So both the Roger Fuchs Trail and this Rent Money Trail, I bet bicyclists just love these trails. There's not a lot of rocks and it's got a lot of curves in it, deep curves and a lot of little bumps also. It wasn't until I got on this trail that I figured out why it's called Rent Money Trail. Most likely for bicyclists taking all these bumps and they lose their rent money as they're biking along. When I started, it was 64 degrees. Yeah, and I expect it's still probably about the same. It's kind of overcast a little bit. Wasn't supposed to rain today. Hopefully it doesn't. But this isn't a real long hike we're on today. Like I mentioned, 
Lots of little bumps for bicyclists, losing their rent money. That's funny. It's uh, late April. So at this point, we've come to a fairly high point and there's a road that goes along here and it also heads up here. Now this is where the burnt out area stops. So that almost gets me thinking that this was a controlled burn that they did. It's too bad because it was, it was a beautiful trail. So we still got further to go on Rent Money Trail. Let's giddy up. Coming up here, that's the end of our rent money trail. And heading up this way, you got uh, Rodney Ridge, top of the world tra trail. And then heading this way, which we're gonna take this pin shot trail. Let's get you up. Now Pinshot Trail, it turns into a more of a dense forest area, a lot of foliage on the, the ground floor, which you don't normally see as the sun doesn't usually make it through these treetops. Now the Pinshot Trail was named after Ginford Pishot. He was born in 1865 and died in 1946. Ginford was one of the first persons in the United States, if not the first, to become a forester. From his work with forest management, he became known as the conservation father of the American forest. And this is a very beautiful trail. Let's giddy up. So we've come down a bit from up there, but at this point, I think that was the highest we're gonna be at. I didn't take the elevation at that point, but at this point it's 4,763 feet. That'd be 1,465 meters. Still nice day out, kind of overcast. Not a lot of people on the trail. Let's giddy up. So we've come to another crossroad here. This is TR Trail, and this way. And that's the way we're heading out. We don't have much further to go. And we just came down Pinshot down this trail. Here there's, there's some seats you can sit down and rest on. Now, TR Trail, it does continue this way. And it goes into that area that we hiked before over uh, Rodney Ridge area.
So if this looks familiar, this is the trail I was mentioning here in my uh, hike that I did. Don't fence me in and came up this way. And this is the trail I mentioned that um, up on Rat Rotney Ridge, it cut down. Now what's changed since I've been here last is all this. This burnt area, as well as the burnt area over on uh, Roger Fuchs trail. This is a controlled burn. And when I showed you my waterline trail hike, this is what they were burning off. Now I thought it was just the wood piles that they, had, they, they were burning off, but they're burning off a lot more than that. And in fact, they've burned off a lot of trees too at the lower level. So let's giddy up. So at this point for directions, you just come down the end of TR Trail and you'll get to the last sign here. And this one specifies that Rodney Meadow Old Shooting Range Trailhead is this way. So we'll giddy up. So as we're heading out here to the end of the trail, to the trailhead just right over here, it's the only trash I've seen. Some dog poop sitting here in a bag. So of course, too funny that the dog wanted to poop at the beginning of the trail. So no need to carry it with you on the whole trail system. Pick it up on your way back or have someone else take it back. I'd take it back, but I got my hands full. Let's giddy up. So we're back now at the old shooting range trailhead and it wasn't far at all once you left Rodney Ridge Trail connection trail there coming down not far at all and I'd have to say that this trail system that we just took uh, I think someone could knock it out in about an hour maybe an hour and a half it's not bad at all I almost think that if you took it in reverse that, that we just took it in it would be less of an incline for you it was a little steep going up the Roger Fuchs Trail. This right here, from when you leave the trailhead, that's a little steep, but it doesn't go on long at all. Temperature's actually gone down a bit. This is usually four o'clock, five o'clock. This is five o'clock. Yeah, uh, usually gets to be about highest temperature during the day. It's currently 57 degrees, so it's actually gone down three degrees. So I brought with me today a laughing dog, mountain hound, huckleberry cream ale, a cream ale, beer. I just couldn't pass it up. Now this is a distributor out of Idaho. There's a description here that says, visit our tap room in Ponderé, Idaho. So let's break it open and see what we think. It's still a little chilled from the beginning of the hike. Oh yeah, strong huckleberry taste to it. And it's got a little bit of a cream taste to it. it tastes pretty good. Definitely taste that huckleberry. So I'm gonna finish this off. The rest of you, have a good day.